I know of people who are absolutely suicidal and nobody's helping them. Nobody reaches out to them to understand what they're going through. When you go to someone and you say, you know what? And I've heard this, may Allah forgive us. Someone says, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. I've been sexually abused by my own father. That's what someone said. And I went to a scholar and he told me, what do you think he said? Have sabr. My brother, you got it. Have sabr. Don't worry. That's your father. Jannah with your father. Don't worry. My brother, my sister, this is where we're failing. These people need your help. The minimum you can say is, you know what? What he did is totally wrong, totally unacceptable. He's a criminal. If need be, you can report him and you should be reporting him to higher authority where he can be penalized and perhaps jailed and perhaps shamed as well. Because do you know what? That is insulting. Heaven lies at the feet of your mother is actually a statement that is sometimes used as religious blackmail to keep the person under the spell of a mother when the mother is toxic and really a nasty evil person who won't even be subhanallah who won't be your door to paradise not at all those who are not doing well at school the way we shove our opinions down their throats they become suicidal many of the brown parents are guilty of putting so much pressure on their children to get a's i tell my kids you don't need to get an a go to school enjoy yourself thoroughly just make sure you pass come out that's all enjoy yourself how many of you after you crossed you know school was it extremely important for you that people asked you, sorry, when you were in grade five or grade six, did you get A's? Did they ever ask you that? It's irrelevant. No one asks you what you got at primary school. Nobody even asks you what you did at O level, to be honest, or A level for that matter. It's irrelevant. The fact that you're now a doctor, they're not going to know that you failed three times before you passed or they wouldn't allow that scalpel in your hands. Right? Don't worry. That's life. It's Allah's way. The brightest children are not always the most successful on earth. And I want to tell you something else. To prove that your education and your wealth are not necessarily connected. Allah makes some of the wealthiest from amongst us some of the least educated. But this is the case of some. In the case of the majority, my brothers and sisters, inshallah, we hope we can be decent parents to our children. And we hope that we have decent parents who don't abuse us. And then I call it religious blackmail. That means you show someone a verse of the Quran or a hadith and you use it to justify the sin and the evil that you're perpetrating against them, which is unacceptable. Husbands do it too. It's a pity the wives don't find those verses. But wallahi, they are there. The Prophet Sallallahu tells us, khayrukum, khayrukum li ahli. That impresses me the most. And I challenge the men folk to live by it. He says, the best from amongst you are those who are the best to your spouses. Subhanallah. Best to your wife, your family members, who from amongst us can say we are the best.